All right, guys, so I wanted to talk about this way, way earlier, but I kind of had a very busy night, and I had made over, and we just sat around drinking and chatting, and yeah, I kind of got distracted. But let's jump into it. So in case some of you have may not have heard, there was a recent turtle attack. I'm using that word for a very good reason. Down in Sydney. Yes, the turtles are at it again. But don't worry, the police are on this and they're filling us with confidence. So in case you are not familiar with what happened, don't worry, we have a video. And we'll play that for you right now. And you let me know whether you think this was turtle or non-turtle. Interesting choice of words he's saying there, isn't it? Sounds like something. Now, what's interesting there is the, the fact now, it's I should have downloaded it, I know, I know, I should have downloaded it. When the video first went, there was no problems with audio. But in this now, the audio keeps playing up. It, it's weird how that works. It's hmm, interesting. Don't worry, we know what he said because someone else has downloaded the video and we'll bring it up for you right now. Uh, oh, yeah, I just realized I tried to search for an independent creator on YouTube. Silly me. Hang on. Uh, You know, at the times you just, you just got to realize you just can't search for independent creators anymore. Right, here we go. Uh, this is interesting. One, two, three, four, five. So what actually happened? Well, you have a fairly, fairly decent idea, but let's jump straight into it. Sydney, 
subbing one woman dead as three British men praised for restraining knife wielding something or other. So three British men were hailed as heroes on Tuesday for wrestling a knife wielding man to the ground after he had allegedly something one woman to death and wounded another in Sydney. Lee Corbett, Paul Salisbury and Luke Salisbury, all from Manchester, were working in the centre of the Australian capital when they heard a commotion on the street and ran out to help. So this is obviously focusing a lot more on the Good Samaritans and obviously look at the end of the day, full praise to them for actually going through and actually helping. So I just wanted to give those guys a shout out. Uh, Sydney Rampage attack. One dead, one injured after man goes on CBD rampage. So New South Wales Police Commissioner Michael uh, Mick Fawkes says there's no relation to the woman that was killed in the second woman that was stabbed in the back a short time later. The 41-year-old remained in hospital in a stable condition. Commissioner Fuller says the third woman who presented to the Rocks Police Station uh, with her hand wrapped in a scarf was not injured in the attack. He also ruled out something of totalism as motive for the rampage at this stage of the investigation. Hang on. Let me... Let, let me hear this. That, that sounds a lot like totalism, doesn't it? That sounds like... That sounds like it might be totalism to you and me. But to the police, no, don't, no, don't be silly. Look the other way, people. This is, this is not totalism. This is, this is just mental health, right? Now, look, I will agree with the police department. You have to be pretty mentally ill to want to do this. But let's paint a picture. Let's say he's white. Because this guy's not, even though he looks it, he's actually from, uh, actually, uh, Avi Yemen actually says, let me bring it up. He has a really good video, by the way, guys, so I fully suggest you go and check out his channel. But, uh, Vidney, um, yeah. In Sydney, this is what we know so far. At approximately 2 p.m. on Tuesday, a man attempted to mass stab innocent people in Sydney CBD, sending at least one woman to hospital with multiple stab wounds. Brave bystanders have been commended for shoot me. Is uploaded online shortly shortly after. Notice there's no problem with the audio. It's weird that, it's weird how the audio seems to play up now when he's saying some things and... Yeah! Shoot me! Fucking shoot me! You're fucking mad! Shoot me! I'm a fucking god! I'm a god! I'm a god! However, police were quick to proclaim that they had not yet established a motive. Not... What, but what motive do you need? Seriously! Knife attack. Now the he dares report on the. Meanwhile, his report on the fact at a post attack, a Turkish name. There you go. So that's what I wanted to know. He was Turkish. So let let's go through. Let's play a simple game. Let's say this guy is a white Australian and he is running around stabbing people that are Turkish, screaming, "God is great," for example. Do you think they were listed as terrorism? Do you think at the end of the day that this would be a terrorist suspect? Say, for example, he was white and he went into a mosque and started shooting people. Would that be counted as Why is it that one group is the other? It's mentally ill. Hashtag not all, but regardless. It's understood on the uh, by an efficient alone inf uh, alone actor. Information was found on him, which suggests he had some ideologies in relation to. 
Oh boy, I wonder what those ideologies might have been. But he has no links to terror. Really? He, he just went around shish kebabbing a whole bunch of people. Or trying to. But he has no relation to totalism. Okay, interesting. There's no current intelligence on the individual and he has no apparent links to other totalism organizations. That I don't think that I didn't think that was required. Was the mass shooting I have to edit that part out. Was the mass shish kebabbing, for example, over in New Zealand? Was that totalism? Was there any links to totalism groups? Or was he a lone actor? It's understood the information on him was found in the mass that are deaths around the world and in the US and New Zealand. Commissioner Fuller confirmed the 21-year-old from Maryland in Sydney West had a history of mental illness. We're already trying to parent up. We're trying to set up the narrative here already. He has a history of mental ill, people. It's not totalism. It's mental illness. Okay, sure. He was taken to hospital to be treated for minor injuries, but is expected to be released into police custody tonight. Suppose Rogers have carried out the man's home in the afternoon. New South Wales Police Minister David Ellett praised the actions of the bystanders, blah, 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 blah. But this is... They wonder why people are turning to these fringe groups when you literally have the New South Wales Police Department ruling this is not turtleism. Literally while the guy is screaming Allah Akbar and going about how Allah will will save him. But it's not totalism, people. Look the other way. Go back to your lives. Please go back to watching Desperate Housewives. The, the New South Wales Police Department have got this. We've got this, right? We've got it covered. Right? Not totalism. Go back to watching your Desperate Housewives. Yeah, you know, married with children or don't watch that that shows a little bit controversial now actually don't go watching that go back to survivor survivor and master chef go on with your lives the new south wales police department has this covered we are in capable hands the same government that let these people into the country mind you even if he was born here his parents had to come into the country. What is their religion? I'm guessing it ain't Christianity. But hey, don't worry. Not turtleism, right? So another one dead in Sydney injured CBC Rampage. So, yeah. Um, Allah will protect me. Sydney Rampage Suspect Speaks. Well, I wonder why he's saying that. I wonder what ideology he has saying that. But no, don't be silly. CBD Tucker tells police to shoot me in the face because obviously he wants his 72 virgins. Which is funny because it seems to be some, some major religion. Sydney CBD suspect had access to information about recent mass killings. Probably because he wanted to know how it was done. Those mass killings that he said that he talked about. They're talking about New Zealand, right? But they said other ones from US. Maybe 9-11? Maybe the total attacks over in England, for example? Or over in Paris or any of those other European countries? But we won't go there mentioning that. He's mentally ill. Hashtag not all. But don't worry. We do have someone who is at least able to tell us what really happened. Shouting Allah Akbar while stabbing innocent Sydney's citizens in Sydney. Sounds like totalism to me. A woman is dead and others are injured after a man went on a rampage downtown Sydney. All the while yelling Allah Akbar. But almost always it's the case. Most of the media is not mentioning the later fact. And just as bad, the authorities are telling us that he has nothing to do with totalism. Here is how One News has covered the story, and that, and it does mention the white that what sorry, and it does mentioning, 
And it does mention what the turtleist actually said. Man was arrested after stabbing a woman and attempting to stab others in Sydney CBD. Authorities believe the 21-year-old man who went on a rampage in Sydney CBD earlier, a woman nearby an apartment, said the attacker wasn't a turtleist. Uh, the a Marlong man was arrested on Tuesday after he allegedly stabbed a 41-year-old woman in the hotel CBD at about 2 p.m. and then tried to stab countless others as he wandered the streets. Police subsequently discovered the body of a 21-year-old man at the Clarence Street apartment. All the evidence that we have are wounded uh, that hand that would link these two crimes. New South Wales Police Commissioner Mick Fuller told reporters. Video footage shows the man who was armed with a large butcher's knife yelling Allah Akbar on Sydney streets. What do you guys think it was? But don't worry, the media has a narrative. Could have been far worse if this was America, because guns. But he was mentally ill, so he wouldn't have had a gun in the first place, I thought. Hmm, interesting argument, isn't it? But anyway... Uh, opinion, of course it is. Those who are especially fond of American Second Amendment often link to say that if it stopped a bad guy with a gun is a good way with a gun. Well, it was actually quite interesting because it took three good guys to take down this one bad guy. But anyway. If, if one of those good guys had a gun, he probably, they would have stopped him a lot sooner. Instead of having to chase him for 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, as we're witnessing in Sydney today, a more effective way of halting a bad guy, a parent's determination to inflict harm on multiple people, is to make it difficult for him to have a you-know-what in the first place. Yes, because this guy could not have got one of those pieces of equipment because they're all banned, right? But there's no way he could have gone to the black market. There's no way he could have gone to any dealer on the street or any illegal activity, right? There's no way that. And of course, the whole, you know, him being in a mental hospital would have stopped him from having one in the first place. But you know what? It wouldn't have stopped. It wouldn't have stopped the good guys having one. And I'm sorry to say, but if you're a totalist and you come to this country, you deserve to be executed in the street. Where you stand. Boom! To the head, you're dead. Stops them like that. You don't have to worry about chasing them 15 minutes down the street with chairs. Because he has a very large butcher's knife. And all you have is to defend yourself is a chair that you've nicked from the cafe. Now, what's now? I'm surprised we're not arguing about banning knives. Well, the UK's already had that debate, I suppose, hadn't it? But anyway, Sydney murder and, sus and, stu and stabbing is not tentalism. Oh, of course it's not. He's mentally ill. Right? The guy over in New Zealand. He was not mentally ill. Oh, wait. Hang on. He went and turtled a whole bunch of people. Was that not mental illness as well? Yeah. Interesting how it's always one way and not the other. And, of course, Sydney knife are currently not classed as a turtle incident. Oh, of course it's not. Because we wouldn't want to go thinking that it was. Because then it might have an argument for why we're letting these people in the country. But no. Not turtleism. Of course not. Are we sick of this yet, Australia? Really? You know, it's, it's weird. I was thinking, and this is probably where I'm going to leave this video. I was thinking the other day. When was the last time America had a turtleist event that was... That was from this religion of peace. Ages ago now, wasn't it? Before Trump came in? Before Trump started clamping down on the border? Before Trump started deporting people that had skipped on the border? It's funny, you know. America has this high immigration uh, uh, standard. And all of a sudden, all these... All these turtle events coming in from over and abroad no longer seem to magically happen anymore sure they have the, uh, the 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 incidents that they have over in america from their own civilians 
true, but they don't have any of this. They don't have anybody running around screaming Allah Akbar trying to stab people in the bunch of street. Not that I can remember. Australia? Well, we haven't met for a few months now. Way to go! Progress! Yes! But at least we don't have Orange Man bad for our president. We have some cuck who doesn't want to seem to do a good job on securing our border. We have a dedicated Australian government branch that literally will make excuses to keep people like this in the country after the government wants to kick them out. Yeah, that's actually a real thing. I'm going to talk about that. The, there's a government branch or a think tank or whatever you want to call it who's, who goes through and makes excuses to over, overturn Australian deportations. Because of these people are important to society or insert other some bland reason. We're literally watching the downfall of society. And the only people at the moment that seem to be avoiding it are the ones that have strict immigration policies. You know, people go on about Australia strict. We don't really have that much strict immigration policy. We let 100, around 100,000 people to 150,000 people to, to, 100, to, to close to 200,000, depending on the year. We, we have a mass amount of people coming into this country, and a large portion of them, or a, a significant portion of them, are coming from these sort of areas. Because why? Because we have a bleeding heart prime minister. Because we don't have a prime minister that has the good ads to stand up and to say, I'm sorry, but your identity politics and calling me racist doesn't work. I'm not going to let my country be overrun by a bunch of turtles. And if you're wondering why I'm using that name, do a search for the YouTube algorithm. That's my way around it. Every now and then, you're going to hear about me talking about turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Da, 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 da. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that this is turtleism? Do you think at the end of the day this is non-turtleism? Do you think it's just mental illness? Surprise me. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, don't forget to use the hashtag if you're on the left saying not all big victims. You know, we got to get the hashtag trending because of Sydney now. You know, we've got to buy, you know, virtual signal about how much we stick up for these turtles. But anyway, apart from that, guys, obviously, apart from that, for seriousness, let me, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, obviously, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will see you in the next Demise Size video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.